Okay, I have a feeling this one's going to be really fun. That's glue and that's laundry detergent. And anybody who watches YouTube videos probably knows what I'm about to try to do, especially considering the magnetic powder sitting there on the table, too. So, let's see if we can break some magnetic goo. Now, the first thing we do is we pour in a whole bunch of glue. Let's not put too much, actually. Let's make a small batch. I don't want to waste a lot of my powder. Now, let's try putting in the magnetic powder. Get it nice and mixed in there. Can you see? Well, no, you can't. Anyways, that's what it looks like. So I'm going to mix it in. This is proving a lot more difficult than I thought. I'm just going to stir it quickly myself, and then we're going to get back to it. Okay, so I've got that pretty well stirred in there. I've got a kind of black glue in there. And now, let's put in our laundry detergent. Sorry about the horrible camera work, but what can you do? Well, I might have added a little bit much there, but let's give her a good stir. I think we got it. And the polymers do look stained. Okay, this could be fun. see if we can squeeze out some of that extra detergent. And we've definitely got the same goo material that they're always making. Only ours is black, and it's not staining my hands, which means it's in the polymers, probably. Otherwise, I imagine it could come out and stain my skin, like Rust likes to do. So, let's give this a shot here. Please work. Okay. Okay. Sorry, it did work. Um, just it's not not doped high enough. See. Hey. So we do have magnetic goo here, and now let's try doping it up more. I don't want to waste too much. I've got other things I want to try, but it does work. So later I'm gonna have to make a very strongly doped batch. Let's make a much smaller batch this time and uh, dope it heavier. Okay. I think you guys are gonna love this. Watch this. And that's sliding across the floor with with its surface tension. It's still covered in, oh god. It's still covered in soap, but watch if I drop it here. Oh. Hey, go down, go down, go down. <laughs> it's like a little slug. Go down. Zoop. Okay, so it works. Um, let's see if we can stretch them. Will he move towards the magnet? Will he stretch himself yet? No, I'm going to have to dope it even heavier. I don't know how much I got to put in there. Uh, and that's a pretty powerful... Oh, he'll, he'll bend himself. Oh, look at him go. <laughs> like a little slug. So this is going to be some fun with electromagnets too. And it's waterproof as well. So uh, this could definitely... Or I think it's waterproof. I haven't actually really stress tested that. But, and then we'll see how it does in electrolyzed water with uh, all those uh, extra stuff in there. But uh, this could be some serious fun. Okay, couldn't resist. Made an even stronger batch. And here we go. Check this guy out. Regular piece of floppy. Woo! God. Okay, so I did it again, and I got a little piece, but I also got a ton of wa ton more waste than usual. So uh, I'm thinking I'm hitting the limits of the effect of the polymerization. Maybe uh, any more, and it just uh, 
negatively affects the polymeriz polymerization process. So uh, this is the best I got so far. He's uh, pretty thin here. I guess I could make him thinner, but let's try. I mean, I'm sure I could make him even thinner if I really tried, but... Now, I can't really get him to, like, pull himself, to stretch himself. That was what I was really hoping for. I was hoping to get something that would pull and stretch, but he definitely will uh, react from quite a distance. Is he going to climb up? He really likes the magnet, but he's stuck there right now. So these guys are going to be a lot of fun, I think. I can definitely find some application for this stuff. Uh, it looks really cool just playing with it like a little slug, but this material is going to be very handy.